Shakedown, back on the road. Okay, that's a little obvious, but we're here in Long Beach, 2012, the day before all the racing action. But that's a good thing, because we're gonna be able to walk the track ourselves and give you some track notes, how to negotiate this really, really famous street course. Then we're gonna to talk to the drivers, IndyCar and American Le Mans, and listen to the experts tell us their techniques to make this track work for them in racing and overall speed. We're gonna to talk to Rubens, Sato from IndyCar, Patrick Long, Joey Hand from ALMS, all the great guys. Back at Long Beach for our second year, this is the start of our coverage. Probably gonna see three shows when we're done here at Drive. All for you. Rubens, tell me, what's the biggest difference racing in America versus your past experience? Well, the biggest difference uh, for me, it's obviously the car and the fact that I have no idea what the tracks bring to me. I mean, it's every time is a new track. Um, if you think that uh, an indie light driver, for example, he's a newcomer to to Indy, okay? But he has driven on, on tracks. I, I'm new to anything, and although I have so much experience uh, under my belt, it's uh, it's been the hardest thing just to go through a new circuit every time and uh, to learn uh, something that obviously you, you watch on TV and you get to know something but theory never works as best as, as practical. Is there a different camaraderie among the drivers and the teams in US versus what you've experienced? Well I tell you I've been uh, welcome uh, really really well here so it's it's uh, it's been so fantastic uh, to have uh, all the drivers uh, come to talk to me and uh, it's uh, you know it's it's a family all together you know when you close the visor you, you just want to beat everyone but it's uh, you should have a social life and they have it here and I'm uh, I'm really uh, happy that that happens let's start our lap end of the front straight away full chat start finish was way back there maybe a half a mile but if you notice the track is uphill so that allows you to compress this braking zone into turn one and if you look into turn one under the firestone it's blind so we really need to learn our reference points our break point and turn in will be up there where the track levels out. Turn one is not easy to pass. It's pretty easy to defend because as you come down shoreline, you can make yourself wide going into the braking zone. Um, the other thing is it's really easy to get it wrong. It seems like it's fast on entry, but it tightens up quick and the tires kind of come out and grab at you. Key is not to turn in too early. Aim for the back of the berm, right where the white cone is right now, avoiding that tire wall, getting the car rotated, riding the berm, and getting that sh straight shot toward the wall on the right, the white wall after the Toyota marks. This is a typical street course, um, slippery but really bumpy, and uh, also a couple of the high speed corners, which you don't you know, usually have in street course. Street course usually first or second gear, 90 degrees corners, and Long Beach has got a nice flow corner as well, which is very, very challenging. So obviously precise for the braking point and uh, making a car to have a good stability under braking with traction, that's the key. And according to that, you, you just need a commitment all the time. If you line up on this right wall, there's the straight shot toward the fountain, the famous Long Beach fountain. It's one of these combination collection of corners that make this track different and work for you. You fall in love with this yellow barrier because you get the track right here. If this isn't a first gear corner, it's a real floaty second gear, but you've got to get this car positioned to concentrate on the straightaway that's coming after this fountain. Very, very slow, very tricky. And we saw the BMW Corvette get sucked into an attempted pass. This is not the place. Simone, a couple of quick questions. What's the biggest challenge? Where are the challenge corners on this track, Long Beach, for you? Uh, I think Long Beach is challenging pretty much in general because of the uneven of the roads uh, and things like that. But uh, the challenging part is pretty, some pretty high speed stuff, like turn one is pretty quick and then you have the hairpin where it's really slow. So you really have to be like you have to have a car that is good everywhere and uh, you know we haven't been here with the new Indy cars so it's going to be really interesting to to find what we need to be fast around this track. It's critical to have a good braking car because that's really where you're going to get a pass done here. Um, so many of the GT cars are, are, are like speeded. Uh, you know, obviously going down in turn one is, a, is a, one, probably the number one passing zone. It's three, four cars, easy wide. Uh, you really can get drafting and tuck underneath somebody. Uh, and then sort of follow the leader through the next three or four corners, but certainly it starts to open up heading into turn six, turn seven, turn eight. You know, the, 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 the track's just so wide and the fast way is to really open up your entry that leaves the door wide open for someone to get, get in, in, inside. If they don't and they try to block you, they really screw their exit up. So there's ample chances to get alongside somebody or get underneath someone.
this corner has definitely got my attention. Those yellow berms are all that's gonna note this corner here onto this straightaway. You can see it's a little bit uphill. That's your only reference. Those other cones will go away. The tire wall is on the other side of a severe off camber feeling to the track. So I'm turning in, I'm gonna get the car as rotated as I can to get on the power and get as straight as I can and as fast as I can onto the straightaway. If you screw this up, you're probably bouncing over the berms, unsettling or hurting the car. If you turn in too early, you're gonna be stuck trying to rotate the car on off camber. This corner is a lot of hidden speed. You get this right, it's all good down the straightaway we're about to show you. So at the top of this crest, right where it's flat, that's where you want all the turning done, the car positive, heading out onto this straightaway. When they finish that tire wall, you'll be aiming for the end of the tire wall. You won't even be looking at the tires if you do this corner right. You definitely have to stay off. Are you squaring this corner off to? Well, you can touch it, but when you touch the chassis, yeah. that's where sometimes we, you get a little greedy because you touch it once, you'll be fine, then you're trying to cut a little bit more, and that's where it becomes a little. So obviously on a street course, the marker numbers are your friend. That 100 is really where you want to end up starting to concentrate on where the turn is, but as you start to learn the track, you work nuances. So areas between the 100 and the turn in, you'll start to use decals on the wall, seams on the track, tire marks, anything to really refine that turn in beyond just the generalities of a 100, 200 marker. On a road course, you can, what happens if you run wide? You go in the grass, maybe the gravel, whatever. Here you run wide by just a little bit and you knock the, knock the car, the side of the car off. So Do you run the car with some push or is it more rotation for this place? Well, I mean, any street course when you show up, you got to have a car. I like a car that has a little bit of push, but you have to have a car that's got a strong front. Okay. Um, it has good front grip, especially to the center of the corner. And so uh, you got to have that. It's a fine balance because you need that front grip but you also need really good traction here, especially at Long Beach. Uh, leading on the long straight, where of course you can do all the passing, you have the tightest hairpin in racing, really. Um, and we really need first gear, what I call power down grip. And uh, so we, we set up specially for this track with a special setup. So you're always, you're always monitoring that traction, front grip. You know, what do you want more of? So to play off what you just said, is the hairpin the most important corner? Well, I mean, I'll pick another one. If I, no, I would say the hairpin is the most important corner to get a good runoff of. I'm going to argue this is the most important corner on the track. This is onto the back straightaway. It's complex with its downhill, off camber, narrowness, but it's the fast, fast, fast corner. Turn in probably just after the 100 marker. Back of the berm is what I'm aiming, and end of the tire wall is probably my track out target. But here, if you don't carry speed, you're not going to have a good lap. And as you come off the back straightaway, that 100 marker, Toyota, is your turn in. Here's your apex, right next to this berm, running on the paint, and there's your track out. The mother's billboard on the white wall out there. On a qualifying lap, I'd argue that this first part of turn 10, all the way out to track right, is part of the straightaway. I'd go as fast as I can, as hard as I can. Late break out here, maybe center of the, the track. Turn in to set up for the hairpin. Find some time here. As one of our coaches just told me, duration of time in this corner is really important. Less time, faster lap. Hairpin, turn in, apex, track out. Turn in, I want the car to be here. See this crest? I want to be turning, use that, rotate the car, back of the wall, track out. That orange cone matters. If I track out properly out of this hairpin, that cone is going to give me a confirmation that I'm on my way for a good lap down this very fast front straightaway under the Toyota Bridge, past start finish, and that's a lap of Long Beach. And this was our preview of the Long Beach Grand Prix, the Toyota Grand Prix. Stay tuned for Shakedown and Trackside. We're gonna have the IndyCar action, the GTs from America Le Mans, and World Challenge. Thanks.